What's the matter? My hands don't work. Oh, okay. And what we're doing? Oh, so Play-Doh devotion. Yeah, I really want to do Play-Doh, and it keeps giving me a headache. Oh, why does it give you a headache? <laughs> it doesn't work so well. I'm sorry. Maybe I can help you. Maybe because my hands do not work. Okay. Well, this is another way to learn a memory verse. Memory I figured that would perk you up just a little just bit. A little. Okay. Does that help your head a little yes. bit? Okay. <laughs> and I'll help you do this one, okay? okay? I don't want you to be frustrated. I hope the boys and girls got theirs. You, you know, we even have people from Namibia watching. Namibia? Yeah. Because, Where is that? Well, it's in Africa, the southern okay. part, and they, we, we were able to teach them a bunch of things through Play-Doh, too. So, you know, Play-Doh is a fun way to learn things. And the reason is, is it gives you something to do with your hands. So, boys and girls, if you got your... With your hands? With, yeah, this wasn't I a good one. I had to do play with my mouth. Oh. Which is good, but it's non-toxic. <laughs> it is good. And with the recipe you gave was non-toxic, too, I'm True. sure. True. Okay. Good. So hopefully you got your Play-Doh or you got your homemade Play-Doh or okay. whatever you're going to do. And today we're going to, actually today, you can't talk with that. Okay. All right. Today is going to be our last day on fear. I think fear. we've conquered fear. I think so. I've done yeah. so much. I think we're going to start talking about how big God is. God is so yeah. big! Yeah, so I think we're going to go there. But So this is our last one on fear. Okay. And it's my favorite. Is it in Isaiah? No, it's not in Isaiah. No. Puzzle! No. 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 It's in 1 John. 1 John. Okay. 1 John 4.18. 1 John 4.18. Okay. So. 1 John, 1 John. First, okay. Okay, you got it? Yeah, 1 John 4.18. Right. And it, all right, you got it. So, 1 John 4, 18 says, there is no fear. There is no fear, but there is. Because I had some. Okay, well, can I finish? Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> okay. There's no fear in love. I'm oh, sorry. there is no fear in love. Love. And I know how much you love. I do love. I know. I'm, okay. But perfect love. But perfect love. Drives out fear. Drives out fear. Jesus. Okay. Yes, yeah, Jesus does. He drives the fear away. That yeah, is exactly. Does. So I want to show you something we could do with Play-Doh to help you, okay? okay. All right, so I'm going to, hang on, you're going to help me. Hang We're on, gonna hang take on the what? Just one second. Okay, sorry. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to give you half the ball here. Okay. okay. And that'll keep you busy. You can keep kneading it. That works real good, okay? Because the more, uh, oh. uh, uh, I know. The more you mess Play-Doh with, it works better. Okay, so we're going to take one ball and we're going to make a bowl. Okay, yeah, you can probably almost do that one. Okay, I'll show you just a second. We're going to make a bowl. And I'm going to set mine down here for a second and I'm going to help you. Okay, ah, okay. Now, does that taste good? Oh, you got a little pink on your roof of your mouth. Oh, that's so cute. All right, and the other one we're going to take and we're going to make a heart. Okay, you made a bowl. I made a bowl. You made a bowl. You made a heart. Okay. Okay. All right, so we each have something here. Now, I want this bowl to represent you. Me. Okay. Okay. What would you like to fill your bowl with? What do you think, bananas? Okay. All right. I can do that for you. Okay. I can go cut you some bananas and put them in here, but. And then I'm going to eat them. No, it's going to mess. Because no. mm -mm. they're going to stick to your Play-Doh bowl. They're going to mess up your bowl. Oh. Yeah. So that's not going to work. And they're going to get rotten. Uh-huh. So that's not going to work. Anything okay. else? What else would you like to put in your bowl? Okay, I could do that for you, and you could drink your water, but you're going to, again, mess up uh, the Play-Doh. Okay. Mm, what else you want to do? I don't know. I could go get some dirt. Dirt? Why? <laughs> Just thinking of things I could oh, put in. Oh, you could put anything. Oh, they you can put marbles and toys and all kinds you can of put, stuff. Uh-huh, but every, most things that you put in here, it's going to mess it up. Oh. There's really only, when you're making Play-Doh, the best way to play with Play-Doh is to put Play-Doh in. Yeah, you fill it with play. See, if you look at this bowl and it, and when you see the emptiness of it, our our hearts are like this. We always want to fill something in there. We want to we want to put it, our, it's our God made our hearts to be empty, hey. and we want to fill it. But if we look for everything in the world to fill it with, but Jesus, it's not going to work. It's going to stay like a hole. 
with that, and it's gonna it's gonna mess up everything. So when we want to fill our hearts, we I mean our souls with something, we want to we're gonna let this represent God's love. His love. Okay. So if the only thing our hearts were created for, which is our empty bowl here, is God's love, and when I put this in there and it just wraps around it. it can yeah, and so nothing else can go in there. No fear. Oh, no fear fits now. No fear fits now. No, any of those ugly things. It goes back to all the things that God is. His love, his goodness, his, his mercy. His spirit. Yeah. So when we fill ourselves with God's love, then that's why that memory verse says. Memory verse, did you say memory verse from the Bible to the ideal? Yes, that's the book for me. Woo-wee. I love memory verse. All right. So that's why it says, what does it say? First, First John, John 4, 18. Right? What's next? There is, there is no, no fear in love, but, but perfect love drives out fear. That's it. Perfect love drives out fear. There. So this perfect love of God takes into our heart, into our soul, and it drives everything else out. There's okay. no more room for fear. Mm -hmm. So let me oh, ask. So I'm going to ask the boys and girls, and then we're going to lead them in a prayer today. Okay. okay? I'm going to ask the boys and girls. Campers, have you ever been afraid? Swing me, have you ever been afraid? Oh, yeah. What helps you not to be afraid? Well, I have a post-it note by my bed to help okay. me at night. Okay. And I know God is with me and helping me be strong and courageous. Right. Yeah, lots of that. Okay. So I'm going to lead you in a prayer. Are you ready? Yep. Oh, okay. I'm going to, you can't close your eyes, but it doesn't matter. Say, dear God. Dear God. There are many times in my life. There are many times in my life. When fear comes in. When fear comes in. I need. I need. More of your perfect love. More of your perfect love. To fill my life. To fill my life. So that there'll be no room. So that there will be no room. For fear. For fear. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, amen. There you go. I like it. That's our recipe for getting rid of fear this week. It's Okay, so tomorrow we'll see you and we're going to start talking about how big God is. So big! So big. I'm so excited! All right. Okay, bye! See you tomorrow, boys and girls.